Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, here you see me using a um, texture stencil to put in some texture into the face, even though there's not much detail in this photo. I thought I'd add a little bit. And I'm putting in some shadows and highlights and things like that into Red Skelton's face. And I'm using a mixture of Burt Sienna or Burt Umber, sorry, <laughs> and Sophia. And that in and out that you're seeing there as I keep bumping my camera for it's right in front of the um, the picture so I'm trying to work around it but every now and then I bump into it I still am just using my iPhone for a camera I do have a, a really nice camera but I I just haven't figured out how to do the formatting and the I'm not technical like that, I guess, but anyway, this works good for me and takes pretty good pictures from what I can see on YouTube. I might try to get, um, I use InShot for a video program on iPhone to upload it to and then come back in and use a uh, voiceover on it. Um, and there's another program that I downloaded that's called Moments. And it allows you to go in and uh, video on it to where I can do a close-up shot. So hopefully the next, um, the next uh, um, how-to video that we do, I can get some close-up shots on there. I think I'm wanting to do a sea turtle in the water because water is a very awesome, um, you know, uh, way to do it with the airbrush. And water is one of my worst things to paint with the airbrush. I, not that I can't do it. It's just for me. It's I'm just I'm just never satisfied with my water. So. <laughs> I, I like to paint water a lot because I always feel like I can do better, you know, and, and just learning the shades and things with the airbrush is totally different than working with acrylic brush, which I do that type of painting too. And uh, when you bounce back and forth the way I do, sometimes it's, uh, you know, hard to um, tell your brain, it's like, okay, you're not airbrushing today, you're actually using a brush, and so you need to do it a different a different way and um, I, and I know sometimes when I airbrush sometimes I like to come in with a brush and then I end up messing it up but um, I find that when I want to do eyelashes and things like that I, I tend to want to use a really fine brush now instead of other things I've tried um, I've tried little fine sharpies before and what that does is when you if you clear it then it sometimes you ha it will run if you don't uh dust coat it first and i don't like that and plus it kind of puts off a bluish type tint so i don't i don't like it much anymore and i've used a uh, color pencil now color pencil is really is really good but if you're going to clear coat your piece then it's kind of a it's colored pencils kind of a wax that's used in it and um, just doesn't do well with the uh, with the clear coat but there are some things out there on the market I just haven't tried them so I can't say whether or not they work really well I've always just used an acrylic clear over top of my work if I'm going to um, uh, if I want to protect it for until I really decide what I want to clear it with because sometimes I'll use resin sometimes I'll use uh, automotive clear um, sometimes polyurethane I mean there's all kinds of things you can clear it with but if I want to protect it until I decide what I want to do I usually just use a pledge floor acrylic clear uh, now that's 
not going to keep it from like if you spill a gallon of water on it so to say that's not going to protect it from um, you can't wipe on it you can shake it off and let it dry but if you took a rag to wipe on it it's going to damage your artwork so it's not something that's it's just to protect it for a time being from little tiny scratches and things like that but uh, here you see me going in and uh, putting some of those dark shadows in the wood in the back of the door there and and on the sides um, there's a really bright light shining on this uh, picture on the reference photo it's like they're um, coming out and there's a light in front of them it's not that I have a light in front of them it's that the light is supposed to be like shining on their faces I guess and and so that's the the what you're seeing on red he's got white around his mouth and kind of white on his eyelids because he's kind of the clown I I forget what he calls himself when he, on his video here but um, he calls himself the hobo or something like that and then um, of course Lucy's dressed up like that too And there was a little scratch in Carol Burnett's neck, I think, that uh, I'm trying to work on here. And I am just going in with a little white, covering that back up, and then, then re-putting in some flesh tones in her neck. And then I'm going back in with the with the Mars eraser there and erasing some of that out. So, no, so um, don't ever think that your work can't be fixed. It can be fixed, even if you got a scratch in there, because... This is a composition panel and it's an aluminum composition panel. It's very easy to scratch when you're putting airbrush on it. That's why I like to protect it with some um, pledge floor clear like that. Here you see me using my um, PS Creos airbrush.